What's going on YouTube? Sean here and welcome to another edition of my Death Note vlogs and in today's video we're going to be talking about episode number 33 known as Scorn. So this episode is finally bringing or is continuing the near and light conflict. Um, you know I've been mentioning it. Uh, I've mentioned this several times before at this point in the series. The conflict has the core focal point of Death Note has been from what I've gathered the conflict between Light and L. Now, I was upset a while back when, back in episode 25, when they killed L off. I think that was a mistake. I don't understand this, the reasoning behind killing off L, even after this point in the series. I think getting rid of L that soon, uh, with this many episodes left, really kind of like took the legs out from underneath the series, because it's always been between Light and L. And I've been kind of hoping Nier and all these other characters would step up to the plate, and they quite frankly haven't been up to par with that, you know, true conflict between Light and L. Although Nier is, in a way, Light has even mentioned in the series, it's like, it still is that conflict between Light and L. It's just through his um, successors, between with Mello and Nier, who are kind of competing with each other to bring Kira in. Nier is smart, though. Nier knows that Light is... Kira. He also is aware that there is a second Kira out there and that they're all working with uh, Kiyomi Takata. So he's got to try and figure out who that second Kira is. You take out the second Kira, you take out Takata, and you take out Light, and then you've solved the case. He's not bullshitting around. He knows straight up that Light is Kira, and he's just got to find a way to just prove it, despite Light trying to, like, Light's ego is getting in the way here. He accepts the challenge of that. Um, in this episode, Nier decides to go to Japan, using himself as bait for Kira, and Light accepts the challenge. He's like, oh, so you think you can beat me, huh? And he has an ego. Light has a major ego problem. He likes the challenge. He enjoys the thrill of it. Even he, he, he viewed L as the ultimate opponent, and he sees this as still continuing that battle. He's like, okay, I haven't fully won yet. I have to take them down. Uh, also during this episode... We hear some information, um, Light gives the instructions to Takata to ask, um, what's his face, uh, Mikami or whatever, to, uh, start writing this information of the Death Note into, like, a, a, a fake book, if you will, like an identical fake book. At the time of this, I guess, this, is gonna, this plays kind of a factor in towards the end of the episode, I'm sure, um... We also see what I was hoping would happen. Misa Misa is definitely jealous of what's going on with Takata, and she just has an anger issue with her. She's jealous that, of it, and she's just kind of angry. They kind of take stuff out on each other. She, Nier, um, blah, 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 blah. Uh, we also see that Nier has sent a bodyguard, someone in there to act as Takata's bodyguard. Um, there's a girl talk between Misa and... Uh, Takata, they start arguing in that, and then Takata thinks that Misa is really stupid, and this bodyguard, whose name is Linder, reports near about the love triangle between Light, Takata, and Misa, and that's the, the conclusion they got is one of them's an idiot, and there's like, these girls like Light a lot. Um, also elsewhere, there was somebody, um, being trailed, um, who was it? Mikami was being trailed by one of the SPK members, named Stephen Giovanni, or Gavani, I don't know how to pronounce his name yet, and they basically get the confirmation that he is the new Kira after watching him write something in a notebook. Now, what I have a feeling what happened was you saw him take a snapshot of a photo, so I think he's just writing names in a notebook, and this is going to play in later on. The fake notebook, he took the photo and sent it to Light, or whoever it is, to, or uh, to Connie, or Takata, or whatever, to get out of this whole situation to be like oh i was writing the fake notebook but i sent the information to the other person so then they can't convict me and then they can't convict this person so it is a never-ending cycle and i'm sure that's what's going to happen uh no doubt in my mind um and if i'm wrong i'm wrong i'll admit it but yeah so my thoughts are kind of scattershot in this episode a lot happens in it um i'm still really do miss l i think l was such a fascinating character and I just don't think it was a mistake to get rid of him, but I'm just going to have to deal with it. I'm just going to have to deal with the fact that L is gone. He is definitely not coming back unless they surprise me with something, but you never know with this show. 
Um, Mello wasn't really a factor in this episode either. I just feel like it's just they're adding so much stuff, so much towards the end, that it really should have been something that was set up earlier on in the whole series. But uh, I guess that's what we have to deal with. Uh, the familiarity I had with earlier on is kind of gone at this point. It's a new direction. There's only five episodes left in the series, so I really want to see how, if and how, Misa Misa and Light and them are all going to bite the dust, and if Nier's going to come out on top. So, we'll see what happens from there. I am looking forward to it. I have really enjoyed the show so far. Um, that's about it. So, uh, what are your thoughts on episode 33, known as Scorn? Did you like this one? Did you dislike this one? Let me know in the comment section down below. Hit the bell for notifications, subscribe to the channel, and, uh, yeah. Only five episodes left of Death Note. I've been watching this shit for a while now. I'm excited to see how it all ends. I've been binging it. I just want us to get to the end at this point. It's going to be exciting. It's going to be epic. It's going to be bold. It's going to be grand. At least that's my hope. The conflict's almost over. How are they going to pad this thing out? Are they going to wrap it up soon? We shall see. But anyways, come back next time as we take a look at episode number 34, which is Vigilance. We only have five episodes left of Death Note. It's been a fun ride, but the ride has to reach an end at some point, and that some point is coming to an end very, very soon. So anyways, thank you so much for watching. Have a nice day, everybody, and I'll see you next time. Peace out, yo.